Yay! Hello, my friends. How are you? Oh, the sketchbook's here. What are we going to do today, Miss Gerster? What are we going to do today? Well, did you watch the video on the mixed up chameleon? Because we're going to do a chameleon. Da -da -da. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's turn this book, so let's turn it around here. We can see what's going on with our chameleon. Okay, so we're gonna do our chameleon a little bit different in this drawing that we're gonna do. We're gonna change his head so he's looking at us more like he is in the book, okay? But when we paint him, oh, we're gonna paint, yay! Yes, if you have paints, I would love for you to paint them because we need to paint. If you don't have paints, that's okay. Use crayons or something, that's all right. All right, so, um, we're going to change the colors up and whatever colors that we use in our chameleon, we're gonna put in our leaf also because that was the whole thing with the mixed up chameleon, wasn't it? He was looking like everybody else, but he's really himself, right? All right, so we're gonna have a couple little legs. We've got a spiral tail. We're gonna do his face a little bit different so he has two eyes instead of one. Ready? <laughs> So, today what I would like you to do is to draw with um, a crayon. Pick a color that you would like to use that you can see. Don't use yellow or pink because they're too light. They're kind of hard to see. But any other color. A dark green would be okay if you wanted to do a dark green. That would be good. Or like a purpley color. That would be fine too. All right? I'm going to use this purpley color. All right. Ready? Ready, I'm ready. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, so our chameleon's gonna be this way on our paper. And I'm gonna start with a U shape for his head, but I'm not putting it at the bottom, I'm putting it closer to the top than the middle. Because his body's gonna swoop around with his spiral tail. So up here is where I'm gonna put his head. Okay. So let's start. Where are his eyes going to go? Where is his eyes going to go? Okay, well, I'm going to put his eyes right here. Poke him in the eye. I'm going to put a circle for one eye. And I can put a little dot in the middle, right? And a circle for his other eye. And a little dot in the middle. And then I'm going to make a U shape that starts a little bit above his eyes, comes down, and back up again, okay? So I'm going to start a little bit above his eye, come down, and I can come backwards if I want. I can start up here and come down to it, or I can draw up. It's up to you. I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to come down and meet it in the middle. Okay. Now, I want it to be kind of pointy on the top, so I'm going to come in just a little bit on both sides, kind of like cat's ears, but not really. And then I'm just going to draw across. There we go. Give her a little chameleon a mouth. Straight line. Horizontal. If you would like to make a tongue for him. Ooh, that would be kind of cool, too. I'll do that later. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. All right. So now I'm going to come around here and I'm going to draw my chameleon's body. See, I'm coming from his head and I'm coming around. I'm going to stop. Curl just a little bit. Come out. Curl just a little bit. Come out. Curl just a little bit. Practice with your finger first so you don't make a mistake. There's my body. Right? Okay. Let's come out from my head just a little bit. And I'm going to draw my legs. My legs, Miss Kashna. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Leave his tail alone. His tail's going to swoop down. But I need to put my legs in there so my, I have room for my legs when my tail is in. So I do have that little line right there. And I'm going to draw two vertical lines. This is one leg. Look, it's about as wide as my finger. Two. And then I'm going to draw a U-shape for a toe and a U-shape for a toe. And then I'm going to get, they have those backwards toes too. So two and two. That's one foot because their feet go backwards and forwards, right? Now I'm going to draw another line. Remember, if you're catching up, if you're still working on this, you can either let it play and catch up, or you can pause. Two more vertical lines. We're going to do four feet. There's two. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to do one more here. And I'm going to make one more. Uh-oh, my toes are going to bump into each other. That's okay. All right. Ta-da! One, two, three, four. Now, I'm going to bring them here. I'm going to come down and spiral around. Don't make it too tight. I'm going to come down and spiral around. Watch. I'm going to come down and I'm going to spiral around. That's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah, but that's his tail. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to copy that line, but it's going to go right inside there. It's going to start here. It's going to copy right inside to the point of his tail. So I'm going to start here and go inside. Do, 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 do. I could come backwards if I wanted to and meet it. It's up to you. But I'm going to go right. So I'm going to end up right here. Do, 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 do. Right there. See how my tail spirals around. Very cool. Let's give him a leaf to stand on, right? So my leaf, he's going to be standing on it. I'm not going to draw my leaf down here. I'm going to make my leaf so it's a little bit bigger. Oop, I'm going to put it right off the page. And then, look, my leaf goes there, but I don't see it. And then, doot, it's a big leaf that he's standing on. I'm going to bring a down, curved line down. Don't draw through your tail. Go around it. There's my leaf. Now, leaves have a vein that runs down the middle. So right down the middle, look, it's like a football shape, isn't it? This is the middle of my leaf. And then put some of those diagonal lines in there for your leaf, okay? Uh -huh. Now, if you wanted to add something else, if you would like to draw a tongue, like he's like, bleh, bleh. I might do that with a red crayon. I might just draw his tongue with a red crayon. That way I don't see those lines. Oh, that's much better. Bleh. He's got a little sticky end on the end, doesn't he? Bleh. And then maybe I'll draw my fly. Bleh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> It looks like a bee. It's all right. It's a good fly. Doop. All right. Yay! All right, so let's paint. Ready to paint? Well, yes, I am. Okay, so paint tray. All my colors are here. I need some water. And I need a paintbrush. Where'd my paintbrush go? There it is. Paper towel is always handy too if you have a paper towel to kind of make sure if your paintbrush is too wet, you can wipe it off. All right. So think about it. Oh, let's mix them up a little bit. Let's change them up. Where'd I put my crayon? It's gosh, now your crayon is gone. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? All right, find a new one. I'll use the red one. I'm going to break up my chameleon into a couple shapes. Just some lines. Okay, that's good. Just like that. Now, remember when we paint, a couple things. Think of your paintbrush like a ballerina. There's your ballerina's toes. Keep your paintbrush up when you paint. Don't put your ballerina on her butt and scooch her across the paper. You want her up on her toes. And you can hold it like a pencil, or you can wrap your hand on top with your index finger on there, and you can paint this way, okay? Either way is fine. So I'm going to get my paintbrush wet, though, and I'm just going to put a little bit of water on my watercolor paints. Just a little, not a lot. That's going to wake them up a little bit because they haven't been used in a while. That little one's, I might not even need all of them. But see, I'm not pouring it in. I'm just using a little bit of water from my paintbrush, right? All right, let me move this. Okay, I just took a little bit of water and just like 
dropped it in. That'll just wake them up a little bit. All right, so take a look at your chameleon. What would you like to paint it? Think about the colors. They should match the leaf. But if your leaf is going to be oranges and yellows, then your chameleon is going to be the same color. And since it's a you know drawn with a crayon, you make it any color you want. So I'm going to get my brush wet. I'm going to start with my light colors. I am going to do, I am, I am, going to do some yellow and see how I'm wiping my brush on the yellow paint so my brush has yellow. And I'm going to paint inside my lines. Just pull it along. There might be a little puddle. I'm not going to scrub. Don't, no, slow down, slow down. Look what that did to my brush. Oop, got to get a little bit of water. Get some more paint. Not too much water. We don't want to buckle up our paper. But I can add, before I go too far, I can add that yellow into my leaf also. Because that's what chameleons do, right? Yes, they do. So, once I have my yellow done, think about it because you don't want to go back and go into those colors any more than you have to. You don't want to switch. So I'm looking for places that I can put my yellow paint. All right? All right. And the more I wipe my brush on the color, the better my yellow is going to be. Ready? Now, I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to stir it in the water. Wipe the drip back in. Then I can move on if I wanted to use orange. I'm going to wipe my brush with the orange. Oh, that would be cool. Look at his face. I love it. Are you painting? Are you painting with me? How awesome is this? I hope you are painting with me. Keep your paintbrush up. Don't scoot your booty across the paper. Pull the puddles around. I'm gonna do another section here. And I can look, I can even change how orange it is. See how light it's getting there? I can get a little bit of water, no more paint, just a little bit of water. And see how light orange that is? And if I get a little bit of water, and a lot more paint, wipe it again, I can make it look how orange it is, right? Whoa, that's cool. I like that. Don't forget, put some of those colors in your leaf too. I hope you enjoyed that little cartoon of the mixed up chameleon. I like Eric Carle's paintings. He uses cut paper to make his pictures. We're using paint. He paints. Rinse my brush again. He paints, but he paints his paper, and then he cuts it out and makes pictures. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? I'll put that underneath him. <gasps> Uh-oh, Miss Koshna, you've got a little bit in its toes. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. That crayon is going to help me stay outside of him, though. But if I get a little bit in there, it's going to help look like he's really camouflaged. Right? It's pretty cool. A little bit of water, a little bit more red. Oh, the red is so pretty. I love it. All right. So finish painting your chameleon. Don't forget you have to paint him the same colors in the leaf, but I'm not just going across it with one color. I'm going inside those shapes, and I'm painting him with the same colors in the chameleon that I'm using on my leaf, right? A little bit of camouflage. Ooh, can I show you a neat trick? See how this is wet right there? I can take a little bit of my red paint and knock that in there too, and it's going to make a brand new color. What? Yes, it's very neat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got outside my lines again. <gasps> All right. Don't forget to sign today's date down there. Ooh, I've got a little guy over here too, don't I? I'm going to make him brown. Got my little fly. Keep your brush up. Keep your hand up. If you make a mess, clean it up. And 
Have fun painting. I love you. Have an awesome week. Bye.